See now our interface is ready. Now we'll create the form. Okay. So here let me give the form name ZK ADF zero five underscore alternative. Okay. So demo on alternative and demo on alternative and internal table data. In the interface, give your interface name, click on save as a local object. Fine. So here first, okay, let's drag and drop the customer ID in the context node. The second thing to create the alternative, right click here, create alternative. Okay. So in the alternative, you can see two nodes, true or false. So first let add the condition on which condition the true node will get trigger. For that here we can see alternative conditions. Okay. Select alternative. Here this is this button is there. Click on append line and drag and drop or operand that is IP underscore SO. Okay. Here mark that as the X. In case if you want to perform this true or false, there's a multiple condition, you can add some more variable and select the and or condition. If it is true, then the true will be triggered else false. Okay. Now what I want to do if this is true, if the condition is true, I want to display GV underscore SO. So that's why I am moving this GV SO to under true node and same gt underscore so that is sales order table okay now similarly if it is condition is false i will display billing document okay let me move the gt underscore bill also okay you can also add the condition at the table level using this very condition as of now, my main focus is only on the alternative. So I'm not, not going deeply into the table level data. Fine. So if condition is true, we'll display this heading with this table data. If it is false, we'll display billing document heading along with the billing document data. Save and go to the layout. Click on the layout. Now we are into the layout editor. Go to palette data view okay here we can see customer id let me drag and drop on the screen customer this box i want to increase customer id okay and i want to display this alternative so i will simply just just drag and drop on the layout editor okay we can see need to adjust this let me drag and drop okay need to adjust the column so what we can do just click inside the box and adjust the column so that it get display on the screen okay similarly for the billing see for table display just drag and drop option second option is the sub form that we will learn later okay and now i don't want this caption C. So for that I will go to layout and I will set as none. I will increase the size of this box. Okay. And I don't want the sunken box. So I will set as none in the object. If you're not able to see this object, go to palette, select first this alternative, go to palette and click on object. Okay. Then you will get this box. And in case if any issue, just go to workspace and reset palette location. Then you will be able to see all the objects. Okay. Now second, this also I want to, in the layout, I will remove the caption. None. I will change the size of this table, uh, this variable. And in the object, so in the field, I will remove the sunken box. I don't want that. Fine. First, let's see as it is, because see, if you are limited data, this will get display on the single 
page. But if you have multiple records which are not able to fit on a single page, for that some setting to be done that I will explain. First, let's test how these alternatives work. So close this after save, close this, check, no error, activate, activate. Now from the billing document table VBRK, I will select one customer ID, let's say 81. Okay, let's for display this 81. Okay. So here in the Adaba form, click on execute, order ID 81, first time I'm not, okay, let's pass SO, first time we'll display the sales order, execute, see here we can see the sales order number, customer number and the sales order details, okay, and this is all, all are only one single page, we don't know how many records are there, that we'll check later. So now the condition is true because I pass the customer ID, because I pass the customer ID and also IP underscore SO equal to X. Now let me remove this X. Okay. Now see, see billing documents. This time it is displaying billing documents. Okay. So like this way the alternative, we can work with the alternatives. If true condition, we can display some other data. False condition, we can display some other data. Now the important point. See, if you're working with the internal table and if you have more number of records which are not able to display on the first page. As of now, all data system is displaying only single page. So for that, to display data on the multiple pages, what we have to do? Go to the layout editor and here in the hierarchy, this is the page, okay, here you can see this page, top type later, you can see the orientation, portrait, landscape. If you want to change that orientation, you can do from here, okay, under the master page, there is page 1, you can select the page type, okay, we can also select the orientation. Now here in this untitled sub form page 1. This is very important point. Here you can see in the object content is position. Change this to float. Okay. So we have changed this from position to float. This is important. Second in the alternative. Select this alternative. Again here change this to position to float. Okay. And then false node, once you select the float, automatically allow page breaks will get trigger, okay, and same for the true node. Why we are doing this? Because as of now, the table data is getting display only a single page, but if we have more number of records, then the data should also get display on the second page, okay, so for that, First point in this untitled sub form, we can also rename this. We have changed this from position to float. Then in the alternative, okay, then for the node, then for the node, false node and the true node, okay. Like this, we have to do at the node level. If you're working with the sub form, we have to do the sub form level. So what I've done, three position, sub form, alternate to, and the respect to true and false node. Now let me save this. Save and close. Check, no error, and activate. Okay, execute again, customer ID 81, order IP underscore SO equal to X, see, now see, first page, page 1 of 2, earlier it was getting, uh, system was displaying data only on page 1, 
but now we can see the page two. See, okay. So in case of internal internal table display, always go for float. In the table, select that float option. Okay, so we can see the sales order details on two page now. Billing documents are less, so that might get fit only on the first page. Let me remove this. Yeah, billing document also we can see on the two pages now. Fine. Let me try one more customer here. Instead of 81, I will select one more customer, some other customer. Let's say 39101. Let me pass this customer ID. IPSO equal to X. Now see, here it is limited data. So all order we can see only on first page. But if there are more records, so with that setting, position to float, automatically system will display data on the next page. Fine. I will again explain that setting where we have done that. Okay, so the billing documents. Because this is a very important point. And here we are working with the alternatives. Okay, again go to layout. See, in the in this hierarchical tab, first we did that setting in this untitled subform, that is page one. We can call this as a body area hmm? after the page. Here we change that setting in the contain from position to float. Second, we did the same at the alternative node level and then false and true level. If you're working with the table directly without any alternative, then change to that setting for the uh, it is body area and directly at the table level. Okay, in the table level, we have to select this mark allow page breaks. Okay, at the table level, we have to mark that position to float here in this body page and at the table level, this is important allow page breaks. Okay, because here we are working with the alternative, that's why we have to also select this float for the alternative on all its nodes. Okay, so in this way, we have done with a session on like how to make use of alternative and also we will learn how to display the internal table data in the Adobe form. Thank you.